Hey guys, this is Tyler again with AR500 Auger. Today we're doing a video a little bit different than what we normally do. We dug into our R&D stash and we pulled out a ballistic core with a Brindle hardness of about 550. This is some material we've tested with over the years and we're going to show you its capabilities. The point of this video is to help you make an educated decision when it comes to purchasing body armor. Not all manufacturers market the material the same, have the same velocity ratings, and use the same testing methods. Um, this 550 material is a great material for level 3 threats. It's good up to about 2900 feet per second depending on the round. When you're talking level 3 plus, you start getting some penetrations after 2900 feet per second, so it does become an issue. Um, and in our opinion, it's not quite rated to that level of material. Our level 3 plus material, we've spent about a year and a half developing, and overall, through all of our steel armor, we've put a couple hundred thousand dollars into research and development to really bring innovative products to the market. Um, but today we're going to show you this uh, 550 core, what it's capable of. We're going to be using a 14 and a half inch barrel out of an AR-15 shooting Federal 556 M193 ball. And uh, just a second here, we'll roll in the spec sheet of this steel so you can see exactly the hardness uh, range of the material we're testing. We have 10 rounds loaded up of Federal XM193. We're about 20 feet away from the target, and we've set up our ballistic shield here because we're shooting a raw steel plate, so we're trying to protect ourselves from fragmentation. Looks like our bungees didn't hold up. It looks like we had some penetration. We'll go ahead and stop there because that pretty much gets the point across of what we're trying to show with the 550 material at 20 feet out of a 14 and a half inch barrel. Let's go check out the chronograph results. All right, we had four complete penetrations, one partial penetration and one no penetration. The partial, I don't know how well you can tell, but that's pretty much a plugged, pushed out. If we're talking level three standards uh, to our testing standards, that is definitely a failure. So we consider that a penetration. So of the six rounds, we had five rounds penetrate with an average velocity of 3,068 feet per second. What that tells us in terms of armor testing is that we, if we're getting penetrations in the 3,000 feet per second range, this plate is probably rated more for 2,800 feet per second to 2,850, which would put it as a great material for level three, just not three plus. So we just wanna make sure you're educated on what you're purchasing. So when you're searching for steel, know the velocity limits, look at the manufacturer's specs and understand what you're getting and what it's capable of defeating prior to purchasing.